Hello all you happy people, we are returning back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We are, last time we finished up with the ice planet, and we are going to go, we're back on the ship. We have still some more quests to do. Sorry. things to do now that we're back on the ship. We have a bunch of character side missions to do. So we go back. So on the Nexus, we can talk to Spender there, talk to PB in the skate pod, we can talk to Korra. And we need to hit to Havarl, which is our next stop. Find clues to the location of the Turian Ark. And the Korra Heart will give some information on the Asari Ark. Now that I'm here, I can level up everybody else, because I have like five points, which... Not enough to level up Singularity, but enough that I can put some more boost, um, like barrier some more to make me more survivable. Like that one. You. Core's got a lot of points I can spend. Nice boost the damage for her charge and let her detonate a primer. Boost the radius of her um into her Nova. Shields or armor? That's a tough one. <clears throat> We're running into a lot more ket with shields. So it's more useful there. Eh, shield boost level us up further. Alright, so there's that. Jaw. Jaw been pretty good about leveling up. With using that much Korra out in the field. Put this points into resilience. Boost his total overall shields, or I also he cloaks when he evades. Oh, both. By the way, he cloaks when he evades. Shield regen and reduced health relay health regen delay. Ah, uh, this one's actually more useful, I think. Petra. Let's boost your turbo charge. Rack. Eight points. Anti-armor or burning? I like anti-armor for this. And then I can put those, press those points into Krogan Warrior. PB! Only four points. There's also under her shockwave. And 
And Liam, we already got that taken care of. Pistol mods. I'm not sure what we got new here. Oh, I got an extra receiver, I think. That can get sold, I think. Extra light melee at... at Oh, shotgun receiver. Let's see what he got was the vented barrel there. Consumables. I guess backup light support. More salvage. I think there's some flavor text for some of this. Codex. New codex entries. Um, technology. Research and development. Ugs. Okay. And... Journal. I kind of want to do the overall stuff before I head back to Aya anyway. Yep. Let's deal with that real quick and clear out a bunch of crap from my inventory before I move forward. Sell all salvage. Okay. Turn research points at regular intervals. Ex additional common mining nodes will be made available. Military pods. Cast into four stations. Munitions. Didn't always prepare to give me this consumable shot. Support. Commerce pods. More inventory capacity is good. Cash infusion. And that also works for selling scrap. Gambling doesn't seem like your style. Why? Because I have more degrees than you have fingers. Shots fired. All right, dog. You're on. Ha ha ha. That's pretty good. Okay. Debrief. Success. Loot boxes. Failed. Eh. Strike team. You have a really good chance of success on this one.
Alright. Let's see if I can research any nice stuff. Lots of remnant research data. Armor. Lots of health regen and... Like, active health regen. Nice. And we'll just delay. All right. Got here. Uh, boost tech, but I'm no, but I am biotic. Boost of power and weapons damage, and it's all in one piece. Damage and combat power cell capacities. Yeah, the t it's this would be really useful as playing a tech character, but I'm doing a. I'm currently focusing on biotic. Sorry, sword. Can't really know how much I can do to, to, for further research here yet. N7 might actually be a really good research thing for because I'm biotic. Biotic stuff. I have the extra sell that alright not a lot of money but it clears up some space
Let's do inventory stuff real quick. Sorry about that. Alright. Oh, an extra Naladen. Um, I'll sell that, actually. Accuracy by default is higher. I have to do more with uh, mods to bring the damage up. Drop to the weak point bonus. Why would you do that? There we go with the mods. It's got a scope already, so that helps. Inventory. Quite done. We just mark all as wet as red. There we go. Extra sniper rifle. Crap, this was not what to deconstruct this for parts. Okay. Just like Sir Cash. No, uh, uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal problem. Oh? I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here. Or should I say, trying to. Okay. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech. But kindly, stop digging. Fine, fine. Yeah, I've been, um, Raphael on, uh, YouTube, company on YouTube. Yeah, I've started playing when this came out, but I've only been playing one day, uh, one day a week normally. Fine. Have your surprise. You won't regret I hope not. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. It's true. It's darn true. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No, but I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. <laughs> but no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. But I'm Tish. Okay. 
So, next one continues on the Nexus, so... So, that story continues there. Yep. Maybe turn flirty. Relationships. Cora. Did you hear the news from Eos? Sorry, really? showed up at the outpost. Only a few. But that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge. Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shield. Actually, that is very nice to have him with us, helping us. Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Yep. I'll take someone with that much experience. It's another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. I'll happily bring you with me. All right. <clears throat> That's back on the Nexus. That one's also back on the Nexus. Varl. No leave the Salarian Ark yet. It looks though, from the sound of things, Salarian Ark got got by the uh, cat, which is not good. Where's the movie night one? Alright, Pathfinder chest piece. Uh, chest piece. Missing iron. Can I buy the iron from here? No, don't have the iron. Actually, let's do the EOS one next. Okay. Okay, so all those are involved in the mech doing the Nexus, so before we go back to the Nexus Ah, it's all right, Aaron. Let's do a sorry arc quest first. Tracking a remnant architect. The one we fought ended up in orbit. Amazing. Holy cow. That is actually kind of neat. System already.
Okay, so actually... So we have three more systems we can explore. Next, this is actually more on the route than ES. And we have to go through Havarl anyway, so let's do some scanning. And then we'll go pop to the Nexus, do some missions there. And... I don't want to finish... Oh. I don't want to trigger the. One day that might be true again. I don't want to trigger the next story quest until I've done her. Anomaly on sensors. I don't want to trigger the next story quest until I've done Havarl. Just because that might lock some. Probes launched. Got a reading from the asteroid belt. Just because uh, doing Havarl before um or after this yeah, doing the story quest before Havarl might accidentally lock out some stuff on Havar on Havarl. What we got? Ooh. Cat mining ship. Whole bunch of uh, salvage. Nothing I can... No mining beacons there, but that's okay. The Gemstone Eye of Nalesh. Go first with the deposits. Doesn't look very hospitable. I presume that the liquid oceans, whatever they are, chemically, is probably very copper rich. Alright, gas giant! Seems appropriate we get to this one now. Oh, it's not a gas giant, but it does have rings. Interesting. Gold and aluminum. Now, most of these places are pretty uninhabitable, but probably a situation where we could get here. Um, but it's kind of less of an issue if we can put mining outposts here, we'd basically be set more or less for life. Work with the Angara to handle the mining sector. Ah, here's a gas giant. No visible rings unlike Jupiter. I mean, Jupiter's rings aren't as noticeable, but they are do have them. And tends to lock a lot of asteroids in orbit. Okay. Hey, Job, I just see if there's anything neat here. Circular ring at the top as opposed to, say, the hexagonal storms on the top and bottom of uh, Saturn. Let's start from the outside and work our way in. I 
I know some people find this stuff too busy work, but this is kind of my my favorite parts of the. Yeah, though, is that a, another black hole? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's probably the same black hole that is near um, the sort of Angara homeworld that helps masking its location. Gas giant with a fairly close in moon. Iha for. Non standard orbit, apparently. Aha. C. It is actually one of the innermost planets, which is impressive for a gas giant. Normally, the accretion disks for those. Uh, the, the gas accretion happens further around the outside, and any big amounts of gas on the inside tend to get drawn into the star in that formation. So this is actually potentially habitable. Um, sort of. The atmospheric pressure is a little too high. But it actually has water oceans. And la uh, last one, Tarosh. Ooh, wrecked by storms. <laughs> Cruel joke. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a good name for a planet. Subbing? Anomaly. Deploying probe. It's getting a scan. Oh. Ezo. A bunch of it. You got to do with the Helios cluster basically being around the accretion disk of a black hole. Actually, getting some stuff here. Deploying probe. It's 
getting a scan. Interesting. Frozen helium. I'd say that's not something you see every day, but when we start to start getting into space travel. Let's do guest here next. Tranquil Stone Plain. Interesting, so not so tranquil anymore. A whole bunch of scourge right over there. Gas giant. He does a really good job of trying to find the most phonogenic anal um, angles. Reviewing these planets. Satellite detected. Hey. Milky Way research data. Last one for this system. This planet is closest to the Scourge. Wild plant growth, growth beneath thick surface ice. And... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that atmosphere is, um, 42 times that of Earth. Yeah, no. Alright, so we're going to hit the Nexus back up first. Let's do Drax loyalty quest first. Alright, skip this one because we've been in our approach to the uh, Nexus before. So, a whole slew of quests currently underway here. Yep, disembark and let's make some progress. <laughs> 